Hey guys, it's Bub here, and today we're going to be installing Windows Millennium Edition on a real computer. Through lots of errors, virtual machines, and Windows 98, we were kind of able to do it. Keep watching the video to find out how. I tried installing Windows ME natively from a USB, however I got tons of errors. So what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade from Windows 98 to Windows ME. So to start off, we have to use Rufus to create a free DOS USB. This is basically MS-DOS except bootable on a USB. And now we just have to drive over the Windows 98 installation files onto the USB we just created. And now, booting into that USB, all we have to do is CD into Windows 98 and run setup. And we have the infamous scan disk. And we were so close, but yet so far. But there is a workaround to this little memory issue. We have to use switches to set up Windows 98. So set up slash is and skip scan disk and slash nm means no minimum, which will bypass this error. The beginning part of the Windows 98 setup was fairly easy. It's just a typical Windows 98 setup stuff that you would see in a typical virtual machine, except of course it's running on physical hardware or not. So what we have to do to fix this is I just switched over to a different computer and right now we're switching it from UEFI to CSM. I don't know why it was the other computer but I think switching to a new computer will help fix that issue mostly because it actually has a normal BIOS setup instead of the other one which is that Toshiba setup utility with the mouse. I went off the path that I wanted to and I just went straight through the Windows ME setup and skipped the Windows 98 setup process. This is the first time I don't do what I say in this video, but in this video, I do that a lot. Ah, the wonderful restarting the computer after a fresh installation of Windows Millennium Edition. Look at that, our first glimpse into Windows ME, or not. Windows failed to load on the previous attempt. Wonderful. Doing any of the normal boot, safe mode boot, logged, or setup, none of them worked. They all kept doing this boot loop disease, or that's what I'm calling it. However, I switched over to a different computer, which does not have any UEFI, and it booted straight into the setup. Windows ME really likes me. So, again, um, sorry for the undocumented, but we, we got the blue screen again. Um, I have to call this as a failure. Okay, so I installed Windows 98, we're gonna upgrade to ME, but our issue here is... We apparently have un insufficient memory to initialize Windows, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to change, I believe it's the hymem.sys. Well, actually, no, that wasn't what we had to do. We'll end up doing that later, but right now, that's not what we had to do. What we had to do is we have to open system.ini and change something under there. I believe it's the max page change. We have to make it equal 40,000. This is the official thing for getting Windows 98 to run with over one gigabyte of RAM. It's official from Microsoft. And now we can boot straight into the 98 setup. And Windows 98 saved our information. Everything's been going smooth so far. We're just initializing the driver database. Have fun with that. Time to restart Windows 98. This is the farthest we've gotten so far in this wonderful episode. Is that what I think it is? Is that where we work in? <gasps> we can enter our Windows password, which doesn't even exist. And we're trying to find hardware. And it's the welcome to Windows 98 window, except it's broken. Here's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> I think you get the idea. So running the Windows ME setup, we get not enough memory. So I replaced HiMem with HiMem X and reran setup, and now we can't check the hard drives because it's USB. So as we're running scan disk and we're rerunning setup, we want it to run in MS DOS mode. I just clicked yes, and this popped up. I didn't even bother with it, I just clicked OK, and we got the same error. New plan. So we're going to be upgrading from Windows 98 to Windows Me on a virtual machine. So we're going to boot off the USB. 
How do we do that? Well, we have to set the hard disk to a physical disk. You may be asking, how do I do that? Well, in VMware Player, all you have to do is go into the device menu, click Add, Hard Disk, IDE, and use a physical disk. And as long as USB is plugged in, just select the right drive. And once we do that, it's ready to boot off that hard disk. And we booted straight into our fresh install of Windows 98 Second Edition. So now we're going to run the Windows ME setup straight off the USB. And we're installing it. And it's time to restart Windows ME. And there's our log on screen. We are installing or have installed Windows ME in a virtual machine on a hard disk. Time to shut it down and boot it up on a physical machine. All right, here we go. There's the Windows ME startup screen or not. We're back in this startup menu. Windows did not finish loading. I just don't think Windows Millennium Edition likes booting on newer hardware. It has to stick with its old Pentium processors and all that good stuff. I think this project's gonna be a fail. Well anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy tech related content as that's what I'm trying to pivot my channel towards. In the corner there's a video that YouTube thinks that you'd like. Um, YouTube's API can be messed up sometimes, but it, that's what it thinks. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.